after serving in World War II, the Cartanza Senora transported agricultural products from South America to the Caribbean. But in the 1970s, the ship was scuttled by crew seeking to evade authorities. All right, guys, Jeff and Evan here. We just got done diving the Cartanza. Evan, where is this shipwreck? This shipwreck is located at Buck Island, but not St. Croix, St. Thomas's Buck Island. That's right. We're here in the U.S. Virgin Islands on St. John, but we actually cruised down to the south shore of St. Thomas for this amazing wreck site. It was a pretty good dive. Yeah. Why don't we catch up with Andre? He's going to give us a dive briefing on what's going on on this wreck, and then we're going to show you everything there is to see there. Let's hit it. Let's go. I'll give you guys a quick briefing on where we're at. We're on the Cartanza now. This was a fun little story on this one. Uh, this was an old drug smuggler ship, and they came in and they decided, you know what? We don't want to get caught. So they scuttled everything off the boat and it sank. It was actually originally over there out by the port of Charlotte Amale. Uh, it was a navigational hazard, so finally the government got enough money together. They said, we're gonna move it. So they hired a company, they picked it up, and the company, as soon as they picked it up, said, okay, cool, we've spent all the money you gave us. We're not moving another inch until, uh, until somebody pays us more. They got into a big argument about it, and finally they were blocking uh, sea traffic. So the Coast Guard said, move, or we're gonna make you move. So what they did was they came out here and they just dropped it. They said, you know what, we don't care about it, we're just gonna drop it here. In 1979, the Cartanza was dropped intentionally in 85 feet or 25 meters of water. In 1989, just 10 years later, Hurricane Hugo rolled the ship across the sea floor, breaking her into three distinct parts and laying them to rest in 40 feet or 12 meters of water in what is now called Shipwreck Cove at Buck Island. We're diving today to explore all three sections of this shipwreck. The first is what I believe is the aft section where the engines are located. This section is torn apart and jagged from its trip across the sea floor during the hurricane. But it's now covered in sea life such as sponges and soft corals. There really is no place to penetrate or enter the wreck, but we can swim into various areas. Andre points out a spot in the hull where we can look through and I head over there. taking a tour past the two massive engines. Swimming back over the wreck, we pause to check out what looks like a cargo hold before swimming out to find the stern section across the seagrass. Coming upon the stern, we find it's more intact with the most prominent feature being the bollard used to secure the mooring lines of the ship. Up. 
heading back across the seafloor, we find smaller parts of the wreck laying in different locations across the area. When the Cartanza was intact, she was 190 feet in length. The bow section is a large part of the ship, but is almost completely blown apart. The wreckage is spread over a wide area here, but it makes for a lot to explore. This section appears to be resting on its side. In the distance, other divers are watching a green sea turtle try to shake off a larger mora right there at the bow of the ship. But we'll have to get to that in a minute. Only a portion of the bow is intact. And we can see what looks like the ship's windlass that was likely used to raise and lower the anchor still sitting on a section of the decking. Circling back around we find the green sea turtle resting again on the sea floor and the remora is still with it. We get a better look as the sea turtle swims up to the surface to take a breath. and tries to leave the remora behind. But along the way, it clearly becomes frustrated with the remora and tries to shake it free again. can't surface as fast as the turtle, so I watch from below as the turtle gets its breath, then swims in circles and darts off trying once again to shake the remora, but to no avail. Even at the surface, there is plenty of life. A moon jellyfish, one of the sea turtle's favorite snacks, is hanging out on the surface. The jellyfish's pulsating is absolutely beautiful and hypnotic. Guys, make sure to check out another video here at the end. And if you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button so that you never miss a dive. But thanks for watching, and we will see you underwater.